this is a electronic control that I am designing and assembling for my electric water heater I'm uh, reusing to discard it Allen Bradley contactors motor contactors relays uh, the coils are 110 volts AC uh, these uh, have four contacts normally open contacts each and um, I'm using various contacts in parallel so I can drive more current with them um, also uh, I will uh, the water heater uses uh, 220 volts so it uses two phases uh, so I'm uh, using one relay per face so the current uh, and the arcing will not decay the contacts this here is a solid state relay that will turn on the coils the coils will be in parallel and the coil will be driven with the output of the solid state relay which is probably a triac with an opto uh, coupler diac inside that <coughs> sorry <coughs> a relay will then be driven from a Arduino Nano that I'm gonna insert into this uh, socket and then I'm gonna have a push button on the door to uh, turn it on right now I am designing I'm going about to print two uh, plugs for the holes that are under this electric box came from a machine that was uh, thrown away it had uh, many holes on the lid on the door so I'm gonna cover those holes with some plastic plugs and I'm gonna glue to the front just that the machine is I mean uh, the control is safe and I use the bottom holes for the cable so and right now I'm printing the uh, the plugs on my uh, a net a8 clone printer these are the plugs once they've done printing and uh, I'm gonna put them on the door I'm using uh, Loctite some gluing uh, compound and I already now have everything wired up I have one output of the Arduino uh, feeding power to the uh, solid state relay here I don't know if you guys can see it I got the Arduino sketch I'm gonna put it into my Google Drive and then later on in the comments I will share the URL for the Google Drive file for the sketch and the timer library that I'm using so basically all it this control will do is once you press the push button the there's gonna be an LED there's an LED on the push button that will blink at 1 Hertz so it will turn on and off once per second signaling that the heater is on and immediately I mean once you press the push button the solid state relay will turn on and then the heavy duty contactor relays will switch on and they will allow a water heater to start heating the water uh, and the reason for this is that they use a lot of current so I'm using three contacts on each uh, relay to uh, drive one phase once you press the push button the cycle start I'm gonna set it for five minutes <coughs> sorry <coughs> and the five minutes uh, you think the water is still um, sorry cold you can go back and press it for another five minutes the reason I do this instead of the normal control is I don't want the water here to be on all the time 
<coughs> only when I'm about to take a bath or someone's going to take a bath. So I already have mounted it, wired it to the water heater, and I am going to uh, use it from now on if, I mean, during summer, five minutes was more than enough to keep the water hot enough for a bath. I mean, one person can take a bath with the water heated for five minutes in summer. So in the winter, if you need to press it twice, uh, so right now it's going to run for five minutes. And if you think you need a more for my minutes, um, another five minutes, you just go come back in here and press it again. And this is very simple. Hope you like, hope you guys liked it and stay tuned for more. Bye bye.